Hey guys, uh, in previous vid videos we've talked about a couple of different pentatonic positions. We have uh, the one down here between the 2nd and 5th fret, we had the one between 5 and 8, and we had the one between 7 and 10. So before we start looking at the other two positions further up the neck, uh, what I thought we'd do is we'd start off with some exercises um, for going between the different scale positions. Because most of the time, the cool pentatonic licks that you hear, like all this, you know, that stuff, or like... Um, that's where all the really fun stuff happens for, with, with pentatonics, at least for me. And most of that stuff uh, involves switching between different scale positions. So um, without any further ado, let's take a look at a couple of exercises to get you started on that. Okay, so here we go. So what we're going to do first is we're going to start off by just playing the lowest pentatonic position that we know all the way up. And then we're going to shift to the next pentatonic position and play that one down. So that goes something like this. So that's the lowest shape. Now I'm going to shift into the next one and come down. Now I'm going to shift into the next one higher and play up. I'll do that whole exercise one more time for you. So, Once you've done that, you can turn around and come back the other way. There we go, simple enough. Um, so that's the first exercise. The second one that we're gonna do is a little bit more involved. It involves moving between the positions and only playing four notes at a time. So we're going to start off by playing uh, four notes. That's going to be two notes on the sixth string and two notes on the fifth string in each of the three scale shapes. So we have this. So that's the first four notes of the minor pentatonic between two and five. Then we have the first four notes of the pentatonic between two and eight, or five and eight, excuse me. And then the first four notes in between seven and 10, we have, so all together we get, right? And we're gonna repeat that same exercise on each pair of adjacent strings. So that was on strings six and five here. Now we're gonna do the same thing on strings five and four, then four and three, then three and two, and then two and one. So here's five and four. Here is four and three, three and two. Three and two is kind of interesting um, because of the tuning difference between uh, crossing between these two strings here. You get some some interesting fingerings, but it's worth practicing. Right. And then the same thing on strings two and one. All right, and then of course we can do the reverse of that as well. We'll just kind of come back the opposite way. Okay, there we go. And we'll do one more exercise here, and this is actually very similar to the one that we just played, but with one slight little variation. So instead of just playing all the notes um, ascending, like this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reverse the order of every other group. So we'll start off by playing four notes ascending, we'll shift into the next position and play that group descending. It sounds like this. And then we can just do ascending for the next one. So that gives you. Same thing on the next string. As you add more um, scale, uh, scale positions to this exercise, you could continue. So for example, if, if you know the next position up like this, which will be addressed in a future video, um, you could do this. And etc. You keep going. That's where we run out of room. 
Um, so that's it. So that's four exercises that you can um, that you can practice going between the different uh, pentatonic scale shapes. So that's that's basically going um, up this one, down this one, up this one. That's one. And then number two is uh, up this one, down this one, up this one. Actually, excuse me, reverse. Down this one, up this one, down this one. And then we have the groups of four notes. Uh, we have ascending for each each one, and then we have the alternating ascending and descending. Uh, so that's it. So I'll, uh, that's it for this one. I'll see you guys uh, with another pentatonic video real soon.